applause on Wall Street as the S&P 500 hit a record high yesterday. Investors shrugging off a new report that finds inflation once again rose last month. Consumer prices were up 3.2 percent from a year ago, slightly above what was expected, and Americans are noticing. I love Honeycrisp, but eight, nine dollars for a bag of apples? Nah, that's not good. The main culprits keeping prices high? Gas rose 3.8 percent, rent rose 0.4 percent, clothing up 0.6 percent. Grocery prices overall were flat last month, but cereal and egg prices rose again with eggs up nearly 6 percent. I'm living paycheck to paycheck because it's so hard really to save. President Biden touted Tuesday's inflation report, saying my top economic priority is lowering costs and we continue to make progress. If inflation is going down, that's great, but I have not seen any of my bills get cheaper. It does not feel like it's gotten better. Some good news in the furniture industry. Costs are coming down. Half of entire sections are clearance. IKEA now says it's cutting prices. IKEA is reducing the pricing on a lot of their products due to the fact that global inflation is coming down and the company is now investing a lot in infrastructure and supply chain, which will further reduce the prices on their most popular products. Furniture costs have dropped 4% in the last year, but with overall inflation rates ticking up slightly, don't expect the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates before the summer at the earliest. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.